Pope Innocent I, Latin, Innocentius I, d. The 12th of March 417, served as the Pope of the Catholic Church from 401 to his death in 417. From the beginning of his papacy, he was seen as the general arbitrator of ecclesiastical disputes in both the East and the West. He confirmed the prerogatives of the Archbishop of Thessalonica, and issued a decretal on disciplinary matters referred to him by the Bishop of Rouen. He defended the exiled John Chrysostom and consulted with the bishops of Africa concerning the Pelagian controversy, confirming the decisions of the African synods. The Catholic priest scholar, Johann Peter Kirsch, described Innocent as a very energetic and highly gifted individual. who fulfilled admirably the duties of his office. Topic. Biography According to his biographer in the Liber Pontificalis, Innocent was a native of Albano Lazioli and the son of a man called Innocentius, but his contemporary Jerome referred to him as the son of the previous pope, Anastasius I, probably a unique case of a son succeeding his father in the papacy. According to Urbano Cary, Pope Innocent was a native of Albania. Innocent I lost no opportunity in maintaining and extending the authority of the Roman Apostolic See, which was seen as the ultimate resort for the settlement of all ecclesiastical disputes. His communications with Victricius of Rouen, Exuperius of Toulouse, Alexander of Antioch and others, as well as his actions on the appeal made to him by John Chrysostom against Theophilus of Alexandria, show that opportunities of this kind were numerous and varied. He took a decided view on the Pelagian controversy, confirming the decisions of the Synod of the Province of Proconsular Africa, held in Carthage in 416, confirming the condemnation which had been pronounced in 411 against Calestius, who shared the views of Pelagius. He also wrote in the same year in a similar sense to the fathers of the Numidian Synod of Milieve who had addressed him. Soon after this, five African bishops, among them St. Augustine, wrote a personal letter to Innocent regarding their own position in the matter of Pelagianism. In addition he acted as metropolitan over the bishops of Italia Suburbicaria. The historian Zosimus in his Historia Nova suggests that during the sack of Rome in 410 by Alaric I, Innocent I was willing to permit private pagan practices as a temporary measure. However, Zosimus also suggests that this attempt by pagans to restore public worship failed due to lack of public interest, suggesting that Rome had been successfully Christianized in the last century. Among Innocent I's letters is one to Jerome and another to John II, Bishop of Jerusalem, regarding annoyances to which the former had been subjected by the Pelagians at Bethlehem. He died on 12 March 417. Accordingly, his feast day is now celebrated on 12 March, though from the 13th to the 20th century he was commemorated on 28 July. His successor was Zosimus. <laughs> <laughs> Role in establishing Bible canon It is accepted that the canon of the Bible was closed c. 405 AD by Pope Innocent, when he sent a list of the sacred books to a Gallic bishop, Exuperius of Toulouse, identical with that of Trent which took place more than 1,000 years later, except for some uncertainty in the manuscript tradition about whether the letters ascribed to Paul were 14 or only 13, in the latter case possibly implying omission of the epistle to the Hebrews. Relics In 846, Pope Sergius II gave approval for the relics of Saint Innocent to be moved by Duke Ludolf of Saxony, along with those of his father and predecessor Anastasius, to the crypt of the former Collegiate Church of Gandersheim, now Gandersheim Abbey, where they rest until this day. See also List of Catholic saints List of popes Topic. References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Pope Innocent I. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton. Topic. External links Pope Innocent I at Find a Grave Opera Omnia by Migni Petrologia Latina Fontes Latinae de Papis Usque ad Annum 530 Papa Felix IV 
Liber Pontificalis.